today we are going to talk about a topic that gives me butterfly. I love it, but I also hate it. <laughs> if you are new to me, I'm Michelle. I am a visibility marketing coach, and I love helping female coaches to get their business going. And it is most important, absolutely important for you to get seen, get her, and also get paying clients. I mean, after all, why we started this coaching business is so that we can actually have that freedom of time and money and being able to spend more time with our loved ones. Now, you may have heard a lot of people, especially when you accidentally click on one of those marketing advertisements, you're going to see more popping and throwing at you, like there's no tomorrow, right? And you're going onto your Facebook feed, you're like, where did all these things come from? And I bet you when I go onto my uh, iPhone, it's going to show me a lot of different type of funnel. And just for some reason, we're being spied. <laughs> That's not the topic to put in another area, but you probably have heard people talking about marketing funnel and is it a hype? Is it something that you really need? Like, what is it, especially if you're new coaches or just starting out, like you can't even decide on a coaching name, let alone deciding on a funnel, right? Let me know if that is true. You're trying to decide like what kind of a name should I give to my coaching business? I'm stuck with that. Michelle, help me with that before you talk to me about funnel. Well, here's one of the mistakes that I have made early on in my coaching business journey is not recognizing how important it is and what does it actually do for your coaching business. And so by the time I actually learned it, it was like, I wish I had known this earlier and I wish that someone showed me exactly what is a funnel and why is it important. So by the end of this video, you're going to learn the basic of marketing funnel and why they're essential for growing your coaching business. Drop into the chat. Let me know that you're here. If you're watching this live, you're watching this as a replay, no matter where you are, welcome. Okay, so we're going to dive right into it. Exactly what is a marketing funnel? So. Here's an analogy. I have a background in healthcare. So when I look at marketing, I like to think of it as I'm walking into a drugstore. <laughs> Are you walking into a drugstore? Let's say you have a running nose and you're walking into a drugstore and all you want is just something, a remedy to stop this running nose. But when you go to the nasal or the cold remedy section, what do you see? You see a whole shelf of different type of remedy or drug or medication that can help you with a running nose. And all I have is just a freaking running nose, right? And so for you, it may look like that you're just struggling to get paying clients and you're just struggling to get that one client and you're not even looking at like, okay, I want a whole roster of clients filled out my calendar. I just want one client. Michelle, just help me to get that. So you're walking into this drugstore and you have this runny nose and you're trying to get a remedy of how can I stop this runny nose. But what do you see? You see a whole bunch of different things that's displaying on the shelf. And so you're really confused about exactly what work and what is it that you actually need to take care of this runny nose and what would be something that would be extra that you don't need in your body at this point of life or in your business at this point of life that can actually hurt you later on. And so I get that there's a lot of the confusion and you're trying to figure things out. My mission and my goal is by the end of this video, hopefully I can give you some clarity. You know exactly what your next step is and be sure to stay to the end because at the end of today's video, I'm going to share a big news that is going to completely change the way that you look at marketing. Okay, so be sure to stay to the end of the video. So what is marketing funnel? <laughs> marketing funnel in a very simple way is basically a step-by-step -step process of guiding someone, a complete stranger, walking into your world for the very first time who have never heard of you in your business and you are being there and they're finding you for the very first time, right? And that is how you they enter your world. That is the beginning of what we know as a funnel. It's the very, very beginning of the journey of some stranger, some visitor who just stumble upon your social media or your website 
website and they notice that you are there and this is something that you do that you can help them with. And that's all it is, just having that initial awareness that your business exists. And a lot of my program about visibility and helping you to get seen has to do with how do you position yourself so that you're not just being seen, you're actually being heard, right? And you're actually positioning yourself as the expert in your niche. And so that a stranger would actually want to get to know you more. And so that's something that I teach, but think of that marketing funnel as that initial step of how someone discover you and coming into your world. And then they got curious, they want more, they notice that you're doing a lot of, I don't know, live videos, you're posting on social, and these are really helpful. And maybe they download something from you, or they enter your chat, or maybe you send them a private message, you want to connect with them. So whatever that looks like, right? So from the time your stranger discover you, to the point of time where they become your client, that whole process is known as a funnel. And when you walk someone into that journey, it's about walking through that funnel, walking through that journey so that they can actually become your clients. Now that's a very simple way of putting it in a nutshell, right? So I got this runny nose, I'm going into the uh, pharmacy, I'm going to pick up some type of uh, decongestant that's on the shelf. And now that I know that there's so many different type of nasal decongestant, which one is good for me? What is my next step, right? So your customer is walking into to your store basically, and you're walking them through that process so that they can actually come to the counter and talk to you. So I hope this is making sense. So that is in a nutshell what a marketing funnel is. Don't think marketing funnel is something very complex. Now you may have different types of funnel, like video funnel, you have the webinar funnel, you have the email funnel, you have all these different retreat funnel, you have all these different type of funnel, they're just tools available for you to pick. Just like the decongestant on the shelf, you have different brand that you can pick from and depending on what is your personality type, what aligns to the way that you connect with people, you may choose one decongestant over another, right? That's a personal preference. But don't overcomplicate it. And this is the simplest way that I can explain what a marketing funnel is. Now, why is it important for you to actually have a funnel, especially if you're early on, <laughs> right? One of the mistakes, like I said, one of the big mistakes that I, I was making was I was in front of people. I had a lot of opportunity to place myself in front of people. And one of the tricks um, that I, I talk, talked about, especially with my email community, there was a gym that I go to all the time and I spend a lot of time, right? And so I got to know a lot of people and that became my funnel, <laughs> believe it or not, that became my funnel. But what I didn't realize was it was important for me to understand how it works, why it works, and so that I can keep improving it to get more client. And you might be at this point in your coaching business journey that you might have one client or you might be struggling with getting any clients at all. What I want you to do is I want you to think about this funnel and why is it important for you to have it early on is your business doesn't just rely on one or two clients, right? Think about this. I can charge someone high dollar, high ticket, or I can charge someone low, right? But after that one client, what happened? Then you go into this cycle of, oh my gosh, I need to do more work in order to keep up because my client is leaving or it's like three months down the line. I need to figure out how to get my next client in order to continue this business. And so you don't want to be in that situation. You're constantly trying to figure out where my next client is going to come from. And which is another reason why I created the Profitable Coach Formula, because I want to give you a system where you're not constantly thinking about where do I find my next client, right? So when you have that system in place, you don't have to worry about that because it's going to help you to attract more as you finish this one and more is going to fill up the pipeline. And so it is super important for you to start thinking about 
what does my funnel look like? Now, some of my clients, they decided, you know what, Michelle, social media is not my thing. I hate it. There's no way it's too overwhelming and I'm not tech savvy. I don't have the time to figure this out. So some of my clients actually focused on creating in-person funnel. So it could look like retreat. It could look like workshop. It, would, it could look like speaking engagement. So those are all funnel where you position yourself in front of more audience. So that could be your funnel, right? So it doesn't have to be just for social media. I like social media because it gives me the freedom of time. I could be somewhere traveling right now and I don't need to be physically there in order to attract clients. So think about where you are on your journey. And if you are being able to getting one or two clients, but you're thinking about, okay, so it's the end of the year, we're, we're right there and this client is about to leave, where's my next client? If that is you, be sure to stay to the end because I got something big coming. Now, once you know what is it important, why do you need to have a funnel and what is a funnel? You also need to think about, do you really need a funnel, right? <laughs> Do you really need a funnel? And I hope up until this point, I have already said it enough that yes, you absolutely need a funnel or as simple funnel as you can create. You want to think about how can you position yourself so that you are in front of more people. The more people, right, at the end of the day, a lot of the what we do in marketing is about the number. If in front of more people, more people are going to get to know you, more opportunity is going to come, whether it's a referral, word of mouth, or someone is actually been following you and they want your service, whatever that looks like, right, you need to be visible enough and that is the top of the funnel that you're creating. So do you actually need a funnel? Yes, absolutely. And if you have trouble coming up with it, I want to invite you to jump on a call with me or just send me a DM because we need to figure out what does that look like. And this actually came from a conversation a couple of two weeks ago. Actually, I had multiple conversations about the funnel. That's why I'm like, maybe I need to talk about this topic because there's more people out there who's feeling confused. And the last thing I want you to do is actually going to YouTube and, and looking for, oh, what would be a best funnel that I can bring into my coaching business. Absolutely, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to spend your time watching the video, but at the end of the day, it's a strategy of how you bring more people into that funnel that counts, right? And which brings me to the last point where I'm going to talk about where do you even begin? And you might be new or you might be starting out in your journey, so you're not quite sure exactly where to begin. How do I create that funnel? Right. So here's my advice. What I want you to do is you want to think about the way that you position yourself in front of the audience. The more audience that you have, the, the more opportunity that you can create, more people will get to know you. There's more increasing opportunity for you to get discovered, right? Just start there. So think about the way that you position yourself in front of people. Where can you position yourself in front of people? There's a, what comes up to me is like, you want to go where the party is. <laughs> Right? And think back in your 20s and 30s, you know, the part the peak performing time for a party. You don't want to just like stay where, go to where people are not hanging out, right? You want to see where it is happening. So you wanted to go where the party is. So find out within your life, within your world, where is this party that's going on? And maybe you're not invited. Well, who do you need to talk to in order to get invited to that party? You can definitely reach out to me and I can invite you to my party. <laughs> I'm a party girl, so you can definitely come to my party. I have a community that you can party on. We party on 24-7, okay? And it's called Attract Dream Client and Boost Your Style Community. So you can come into our world, my world, come you to a party with us. So think about where these groups are already hanging out. And that could be your funnel. Like I said, I was a gym rat, so that was my place where I was hanging out the most. Then after that, what your next step would be is you want to think about how do you engage them? Are you creating more content? Are you posting on social? Are you delivering 
and blog posts? Are you making videos? Like what feels right for you and what feel comfortable for you so that you can continue to engage with them, have conversation with them, right? I love uh, Emily in Paris. So those of you who like Emily in Paris, drop into the comment. Let me know what's your thought about this season four. Um, those are the things that you want to be able to engage and talk to people. I mean, the, these are your followers, your audience. You want to follow them and, and make sure that you actually talk to them and not just posting and posting and posting because that is not going to work. And lastly, right, I am having the last big event of the year. Okay. It's going to take place. And this is what I want you to do now. You do it now because if you don't do it now, you're going to forget. So do it now. What you want to do is you want to write on your calendar. Michelle is having the last biggest event of the year, and it's going to take place on Friday, September 20th to the 22nd. And I'm going to teach you about how to be in front of more people, get your message heard, and most importantly, because we're talking about this funnel, right? Most importantly, once you walk them through and how do you actually turn them into paying clients? And this really is the biggest event of the year. And this is the last event. So you won't see me again till next year. So if you want to jump in, I'm going to invite you. You can go to visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com right now to sign up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the link, make sure that you have the link to sign up and join me and I'm doing this early. So if you're watching this live, great job, taking your time, carving your time out, go to visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com and you can sign up and keep an eye out for my email because I got more tips before the event. So this Let's summarize what we talked about today regarding the funnel. So what is a funnel? A funnel is basically how you position to be in front of the audience and, and that stranger walking through and getting more familiar with you and how you can turn that person into a paying client. That is what a general uh, funnel would look like. Now, there are different type of funnel that you can use as a tool, right? There's a video funnel, there's webinar funnel, there's all these different kinds of funnel. It depends on what feels right for you and what feel comfortable for you. And you wouldn't know that until you actually sit down and look at what's working and what's not working, right? And if you are struggling with just getting that one paying client, then chances are no matter how great of the funnel you create, it's not going to work, which is another reason why I created this big event for the last time for the year, visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com. Now you can go and sign up. And when you do sign up, what I'm going to teach you is a very easy easy way of marketing. Because once you create this funnel, eventually you're going to need to have the people to actually walk through it. If you don't have the stranger even to discover you in the first place, no matter how great your funnel is, it's not going to matter. So we talked about what is a funnel. Why is it important for you to actually have one early on in your coaching business? Because I wasted so much time just trying to figure things out. So by me sharing with you on this topic, I'm hoping that I can save you more time. And that is really my mission and goal. I want to be able to save you more time. And before you go out and spending on more things that you don't really need, it's like buying that decongestant from the shelf, right? You just have a running nose. Let's fix your running nose and you don't need everything else, okay? All right, so comment down below. Let me know if you're ready to rocket your coaching business, just type in rocket, comment down below, let me know, and go to Visibility Marketing Bootcamp. I will see you in the class.